Welcome everyone, this is Al Dakman Barry, and today we're going to try something new. Let's talk cars. And to kick it off, we're going to celebrate Lorelei's birthday. Who's Lorelei, you ask? Well, that's my 1972 Lincoln Continental that I have had for 10 years now. It all started with an eBay listing. You can actually see here this uh, third-party eBay store. They usually dealt with knickknacks and whatnot, but they ended up with this car. And this has been a car I've been looking for uh, for a very long time because uh, the color, it's dark metallic brown with a brown vinyl top and a what's called tobacco interior. There's only two of them left. And this is one of them. Obviously, uh, back in the day when I grew up, uh, we had a similar car. In fact, it was identical. So that's why I wanted something in this particular color and these particular combinations. And as it turns out, I got lucky that I had the money at the time and also the time to go see the car. Uh, even though it was an eBay auction, I bought it. The car was in Michigan. My intention was to drive her down, but it's a good thing I didn't try. As you can see here, these are the um, photos when uh, she came off FedEx. I didn't know that FedEx delivered cars, but they do. And that's when I found out that some of the push rods were bent. Some of the um, uh, gaskets were no longer sealing properly. And I had to do a top-end rebuild. So despite running on just three cylinders, the car still had plenty of torque to move up hills and so on. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a 460 cubic inch, so that's about 7.5 liters. And even though the 72 model year was uh, already under the new federal guidelines for emissions, as well as Ford's new gross to net um, power, Basically, instead of measuring power on the uh, flywheel with no accessories, they would measure it at the wheel. So obviously that would be a drop in power. Uh, just the number itself, because the engine did lose some power uh, because of the uh, EGR system and the EVAP system and all that. However, this particular car is an early model year. It was built in 71. That's why she is 47 years old today. That being said, this car was built with a lot of leftover parts. And what I have found is that she has the high compression cylinder heads. And because of that, she has a 365 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque, which makes her a beast despite being a little heavy. So Lorelei is what we call a survivor car. She is original paint, original interior. I keep this car completely stock, uh, even down to hose clamps that um, I use the old ones. Now some of the photos you may see that they are the modern style. That has since uh, been addressed because, like I said, this car will remain completely original. I've taken her to car shows. She has won more trophies than I remember. In fact, they're all over my place, and I, <laughs> I'm starting to have a problem with where to put them. So getting back to the topic of the day, this is just going to be a very short video where I present to you some of these photos that I've taken over the years and wish my car a happy birthday and hope she runs great for another 10 years, 10 years after that. As an aside, I am still looking for a house. Obviously, that's the present I want to give this car. I have a nice garage for her and uh, something that's heated where I can do some more serious work that she will start needing because 47 years old. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a considerable age for a car. So, when it gets a little warmer, I will do a nice video review. Um, the kind you see all over YouTube and all over the internet. Uh, 
with the cars, handling, interior, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Make it a little more interesting than just a slideshow. But hopefully this yeah, will be good enough until then. Yeah, so wish me luck the, the, with the house hunt, story. and I will see you next time. This is Al Dakman Barry wishing you a great drive.